Imagine driving on the I-10 freeway near Tonopah, Arizona and spotting a car engulfed in flames. A sight that would undoubtedly send shivers down your spine. The blazing inferno on the side of the road wasn't just a vehicle fire, it was the grim stage of a chilling discovery. Inside the flaming wreckage, authorities found the lifeless body of a 22-year-old woman, Mercedes Vega. The young woman, who was known for her confidence and drive, was found far from her home in Tempe, Arizona. Her dreams extinguished in the most horrifying way. The shock of this grisly discovery rippled through the community, the flames of the burning car casting long eerie shadows of dread and unease. The police were quickly on the scene, their flashing lights adding to the surreal tableau. The initial investigation revealed a mosaic of violence that suggested a brutal end for the young woman. Yet, the puzzle was far from complete. Little did anyone know this was just the beginning of a chilling true crime saga. Mercedes Vega, a name that would soon echo across Arizona and beyond. A vibrant 22-year-old who called Tempe, Arizona home, Mercedes was far more than just another face in the crowd. Known for her confidence and drive, she was a young woman with dreams in her eyes and a passion in her heart. Mercedes was a beacon of light in her world, radiating warmth and love to those lucky enough to know her. She was a friend, a confidant, a daughter. But she was also a woman with goals, aspirations, and dreams that extended far beyond the borders of her hometown. Her loved ones often spoke of her desire to become a mother, a dream that exemplified her nurturing spirit and her capacity to love. But Mercedes was not just a dreamer. She was a doer, a woman with a plan. She was determined to make her dreams a reality. She was passionate about achieving her goals, a trait that endeared her to many and made her a source of inspiration for those around her. Yet her life wasn't just about her personal ambitions. Mercedes was known for her kindness, a trait that shone through in her interactions with others. She was a bright soul, a beacon of positivity who brought joy and light into the lives of those around her. Her magnetic personality and warm spirit made an indelible impact on those who knew her, leaving a void that could never be filled. Her brutal and untimely demise has left her family, friends, and the entire community in shock and despair. The memory of her radiant smile, her contagious laughter, and her unwavering determination continue to live on in the hearts of those who loved her. Mercedes was a young woman full of dreams and potential, a life brutally cut short. She was a woman who had so much to offer the world, a woman whose life was tragically ended before she could fully realize her dreams. But her spirit, her dreams, and her memory continue to live on, reminding us all of the beautiful soul that was Mercedes Vega. As the medical examiner's report came in, the true horror of Mercedes' final moments came to light. In the stillness of the morgue, amidst the sterile smell of antiseptic, a gruesome story unfolded. Mercedes Vega, a young woman with dreams and aspirations, met an end so brutal it sent chills down the spines of even the most seasoned investigators. The medical examiner laid out the chilling facts. Mercedes had not just been killed, she had been tortured. The presence of bleach in her throat was a horrifying testament to the cruelty she had endured. This alone made it clear that her final moments were not swift, but prolonged and agonizing. But the horror didn't stop there. Further examination revealed a gunshot wound, a chilling indication of the violence inflicted upon her. Yet, it wasn't the cause of her death. The medical examiner found evidence of blunt force trauma as well, suggesting a struggle or perhaps further torment before her demise. The brutality of the crime was not just shocking, but also indicative of a perpetrator who was not only merciless, but methodical. The choice of torture methods, the execution, all pointed towards a crime that was meticulously planned and executed with cold precision. As the horrifying details of Mercedes' death unfolded, the gravity of the crime became more and more apparent. This wasn't a random act of violence nor a crime of passion. It was a planned, brutal act of terror, designed to inflict maximum pain and suffering. 
The shocking revelation sent waves of fear and disbelief through the community. The question on everyone's lips was, who could commit such a heinous act? And more importantly, why would they target a young woman like Mercedes, who was described by those who knew her as confident, driven, and full of life? These shocking details painted a picture of a crime that was not just heinous, but also meticulously planned. The Maricopa County Sheriff's Office was on the case, but answers were hard to come by. In the aftermath of the chilling discovery, the authorities embarked on a quest for justice. The Sheriff's Office diligently pieced together the fragments of this gruesome puzzle, yet the truth remained elusive. The more they delved into the case, the murkier it became, as if a thick fog had settled over the facts, obscuring the path to resolution. Seven long months rolled on, each day echoing the last in its fruitlessness. Despite the tireless efforts of the investigators, no suspects were publicly identified, and no arrests were made. The silence was deafening, a cruel reminder of the lack of progress in this harrowing case. Mercedes' family and friends were caught in a torturous limbo. The grief was overwhelming, the uncertainty unbearable. They found themselves in a nightmarish landscape where closure was a distant mirage, always just out of reach. As the days turned into weeks and weeks into months, their frustration grew, their patience tested to its limits. In their desperation, they turned to the public, pleading for any information that might shine a light on the darkness shrouding Mercedes's tragic end. Their appeal was heartfelt and urgent, a beacon of hope in a sea of despair. They urged anyone who knew anything, saw anything, to come forward, to give them the answers they so desperately sought. Mercedes, a bright, confident young woman with dreams and aspirations, had been silenced. Now, her loved ones were left to echo her voice, to demand justice on her behalf. Their determination was unwavering, their resolve ironclad. They would not rest until her killer was brought to justice. With no arrests and a trail that seemed to grow colder by the day, hope was dwindling. Yet in the midst of the darkness, they clung onto hope, the only thing they had left. Their fight for justice was far from over. Mercedes' family and friends weren't about to let her story fade away. No, they stood firm, united in their resolve to honor her memory and seek justice. Their determination was as unyielding as the Arizona desert sun, their courage a beacon in the chilling darkness of their loss. Brought together by grief, they transformed their sorrow into a rallying cry. They gathered, they spoke out, their voices echoing through the silent halls of justice. They painted a vivid picture of Mercedes, confident, driven, a woman with dreams and aspirations, a woman who loved and was loved in return. They urged the public, anyone with information, to come forward. This is still out there and, and we just want justice for her. The airwaves reaching out to anyone who would listen. They demanded answers, demanded action, demanded justice for Mercedes. Their anguish was palpable, their determination unbreakable. Every tear shed, every candle lit, every word spoken in Mercedes' name was a testament to their unwavering commitment. They refused to let her case go cold, refused to let her memory fade into obscurity. And so, they turned their grief into a call to action. They spoke out not just for Mercedes, but for every victim of unsolved crimes. They became advocates, their voices a clarion call for justice. Their message was clear. No more silence, no more unanswered questions, no more unsolved cases. In the midst of their sorrow, they found strength. Strength to fight, strength to persevere, strength to demand justice. Their grief was their fuel, their pain, their motivation, their love for Mercedes, their guiding light. They were not just mourners, they were warriors, battling against the silent tide of injustice. In the face of unimaginable loss, their resolve did not waver. They would not rest until justice was served. The case of Mercedes Vega is a chilling reminder of the dark side of humanity. A bright, vibrant young woman's life filled with dreams and aspirations was brutally cut short in an act of unthinkable violence. Mercedes's story is a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the unspeakable horrors that some people are capable of inflicting upon others.
Despite the heinous nature of her death, the identity and motives of her killer remain shrouded in mystery, casting a chilling pall over the community of Tempe, Arizona. The call for justice made by her grieving family and friends echoes across the nation. It's a plea for closure, for understanding, and for the assurance that no one else will have to suffer as Mercedes did. It's a call that resonates with all of us, a reminder of our shared responsibility to protect each other, to stand up against violence, and to relentlessly pursue the truth. This case has left an indelible mark on the community, a wound that will only begin to heal when justice is served. As we remember Mercedes Vega, we're reminded that in the pursuit of truth and justice, there is no such thing as a cold case.